Hey guys, it's Liz and we're flipping things. And guess what? I think after almost one year selling on eBay, I have come across my first eBay scammer. Stay tuned and I'll tell you about it. <laughs> Welcome back guys. I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, I am going to throw a couple videos in at the end of um, some of my weekend. I visited Niagara Falls for work and Michael had an amazing show. So if you want to see a little rock music at the end, I'll throw some in. But I wanted to tell you about my eBay scammer. So in February, and I actually think it's even in one of my eBay what sold videos. In February, it is now the end of June. In February, I sold a Paw Scout like pet tag. I got it in a liquidation box. It was brand new in the box. Um, I think they even put an offer in, which I accepted. I sent it off. It was delivered. I gave positive feedback, no issues. Um, this morning on June 20th, I got an email from eBay that said a payment dispute has been filed. And I was like, a payment dispute? Like, what's going on? So I read it and it says, we need you to respond to this dispute. And it gives the username and it says, has filed a payment dispute outside of eBay about an order that was placed on February 18th, 2021. This means the buyer has disputed a charge directly with their payment provider. They are requesting $15.24 back, and the reason for this dispute is that the buyer had an issue with the transaction. Please respond to this dispute by June 25th, 2021. Um, and then when I actually jump into the dispute, um, it had a note from the buyer as part of their dispute. And what it says is, the item described on the website did not match the item I received. I promptly took action to return item to sender and requested a refund. Well, that never happened. I do get returns every now and then. I just had one um, a couple weeks ago. I always accept returns. It's just a part of the business. I know that, no big deal. Um, and as soon as the item is returned to me and arrives in my possession, and I check it to make sure it's the same thing, I refund them right away. This buyer never asked for a refund. Um, they never asked to return the item to me, nothing. So basically they waited until it was out of the 30 day window of returns. And then instead of filing a dispute with eBay, they went and filed a dispute with their payment provider. Um, so basically all I needed to do was, I mean, at least to open the case with eBay was provide proof of delivery. So I went back through and was able to show that the item had been delivered. Now I know eBay is going to be able to show that it was never, a return was never opened. I don't really know where it goes from here. I mean, I know that I have never received the item back. I know that... Um, nothing on their end up until now, uh, four months later, said anything about the fact that there was an issue with the item. Now, listen, it's 15 bucks. Is it the end of the world? Like, not at all. Um, I'm fine, right? Like, if this doesn't go my way. But, like, this, I think, happens to people with big items, you know, $100 or more. And then this would be a really stressful situation. I'm not, like totally freaking out because even if they they I guess decide in this buyer's favor which would be kind of crazy because they never returned the item um and that really all goes against eBay's terms of service I'm only out $15 but I think there's people that do this to um or on much larger items and that is kind of stressful to me so I'm very curious to see how it all goes so at this point um eBay asked me for proof of delivery, which I sent them a screenshot showing that the item had been delivered and it, we're in case prep and there's several, it's, there, the case can be opened, then there's case prep, then there's review and then there's outcome. And it says, we're preparing to send your dispute rebuttal to the buyer's payment institution. No action is needed from you at this time. We'll contact you if we need anything else. So 
I don't know. I am like totally taken aback. I, I can't, I don't know how this goes. Like if the, if the person's payment is given back to them, does it come out of my account? Is eBay going to cover it? I don't know. I have no idea how all of this works. It's my first time where someone has kind of tried to scam me a little bit. And I'm grateful that it's only a $15 <laughs> small little transaction. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Like I'm not the type that returns things. Like even if I get something that's wrong, like I just don't, I, it's, that's just not my jam. I don't know. Maybe I'm a bad buyer because of that, because I, I don't know. Like to me, I just know, especially when I'm ordering things from eBay, like these are people's small businesses and, um, like blood, sweat and tears goes into this income and business. And so it's just not my thing. I I hope that it it's, you know, ends in my favor. I don't know like is there a, a limit to how long someone can have had something in their possession and then they can't file a dispute? Can someone file a dispute a year later with their payment provider? I have no idea. I don't know. <laughs> I should probably look these things up and find out. Um but it was a surprise. Other than that, I've had some good sales. I've had some really nice sales this weekend on eBay, which is super awesome. Um, I have not made enough time to photograph, so maybe like late tonight I'll do that. It's Father's Day. We had a soccer tournament. My son had some um, gigs with his band, which I will... You know what? Want to see a video? Here, I'll show you. I wasn't sure how many people were going to be at that show. They hadn't sold a lot of tickets beforehand, um, but they wound up having like over 60 people at the show, which is kind of amazing considering that they're just some teenage kids with a rock band. Um, so it's been kind of awesome. It's been super awesome. They were in, I live in Buffalo. They were in the Buffalo News. The music writer wrote about them last week, which was so crazy. And then Matthew had a Father's Day. Oh, happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. You guys rock. Dads rock. Um, Matthew had a Father's Day soccer tournament, so we were like soccer all weekend. Uh, so I have not gotten enough photographing done this weekend for the listing that needs to happen next week, but I will try to get to it. Um, eBay reselling is all about balancing, right? And fitting it in when you can fit it in. So I'm going to make it happen. I will keep you guys posted on what happens with my, like, my eBay scammer. What? Rude. Oh my God jerk. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I mean, they kind of are, but, um, I'll keep you guys posted and let you know how that goes. And if anyone else has had this happen where someone comes in months later and then files a dispute with their, their actual payment provider, I'd love to know how it went for you. Like what, what happened? Cause I don't know what to expect. So have a beautiful day. I hope your weekend was awesome. I appreciate you guys. I think you all rock and I will see you next time. Bye.